So here we are in Final Cut Pro where I have a placeholder in between some video. And the placeholders are very handy. You can extend them to be as long as you want and shorten them as long as you need. But how long do you need? So what I've done is I've created an automator workflow to create a text file that the computer reads. So this is very handy if uh, I have yet to record voiceover but I want to kind of figure out the timing of maybe some music stings or I just want to get the the writing down perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Automator here. It's this uh, Eva looking thing from Wally. I'm going to choose Workflow. So if you're new to Automator you basically have a bunch of actions here uh, that you can choose from. But the first action I'm going to just type in get specified if I can spell text. So I'm just going to drag that over and drop it right there. And the next action is text to audio. So that's going to create the audio file using the system voice. And if you're not familiar with the system voice, you can go to your system preferences under dictation and speech you could go to text-to-speech and choose a voice. Let me play this. Most people recognize me by my voice. Pretty cool, I can slow it down. Most people recognize me by my voice. I kinda like to keep it pretty fast because he doesn't change pitch and that's the key to that. Uh, you also have other voices that you can download. So if I go to customize, then you've got lots and lots of different voices you can download. Namaskar, Mira Nam Lekha hai Lekha Ma Hindi Me Bolne Wali Aawaz Hoon. Yeah, what she said. Okay. So um, you can also have it speak text when you press a specific key. So if you can copy text on your Mac and you press Option Escape on the highlighted text, it will speak it. But I wanted to record that speaking, so that's why I've used. Oops, turn that back on. That's why I've used Automator to create that text. So I've got some text here. And I'm going to use maybe, oh, I don't know. How about Serena? Let's listen to what she sounds like. Isn't it nice to have a computer that will talk to you? Yes, it is Serena. OK, now I'll just save this as, I don't know, test one. OK, so it's going to get this text, and then it's going to make an audio file out of it, and it's going to put it on my desktop, which is fine. So I'll click Run, and it's done. Just that quick. So back on the desktop, there's my test one. I'll just drag it in and drop it right there. And let's line it up here and play it. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. Nice. But I want, um, when I do the actual recording with the person that I'm recording with, whoever that may be, I want it to last a little bit longer. I want them to kind of slow it down and really put some feeling behind it. So I'm going to take uh, the audio file here and do a speed adjustment. I just hit Command R to open up my speed adjustment. And I'm going to expand this out just a little bit, maybe 75%. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. And that's about the tone and feel that I want for this little uh, segment here. So that's pretty cool. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. One thing you'll notice that, let's make it go a little faster. When it's blue, it's faster. When it's orange, it's slower. And at 100%, it's, it's green. So when it's faster, Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take out. Or slower. But by the number of breaths we take. It does not change pitch. Now, if you were doing something that's, you know, comical, then and you wanted to change pitch, over here under the uh, retiming pane, you have preserve pitch. So I'll uncheck that. And now let's see when I slow it down. Is not by the 
So that could be a lot of fun to play with. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. So now you've got a great uh, voiceover for your production. I'm John Ballou. Thanks for watching.